The troubleshooting guide shows you what to do in case of a failure. When your failure occurs, please check the LED indicators on the front to determine the state of the battery pack. When the battery pack leaves the defined operation limits, then a warning state is indicated and shown. When a warning signal is reported, the inverter immediately stops operation. Use the monitoring software of the inverter to identify it what caused the warning. The possible warning messages are as follows. This could be battery over voltage, battery under voltage, battery over temperature, battery under temperature, battery discharge over current, battery charge over current, battery overcharge power limit, battery over discharge power limit, BMS internal, external communication, internal communication, battery cell deviation voltage, battery pack under voltage, battery urgent under voltage. The abnormal state is cleared when the battery pack recovers normal operation. If battery pack is not working correctly and the issue persists, contact a qualified staff or LG Energy Solution Regional Contact Service Point. Now some more details for troubleshooting guide. Battery fault. If a battery fault is detected, please refer to the separate troubleshooting guide for each fault code and take action. You can refer to the installation manual or the document with the name Fault ID and Corrective Action Guide. Please contact LG Regional Service Center if you need on-site troubleshooting. Product Replacement When product replacement is required on-site, the range of products to be replaced is different for each fault called. It can be the battery control unit, it can be the battery modules, it can be the battery control unit and the battery modules. When replacing the battery modules, both modules have to be replaced together. If only the defective module is replaced, the voltage cannot be matched on site and the capacity difference between existing and the replacement module may occur. Regarding warranty, product warranty provided by LG Energy Solution shall begin either on the date of installation or 12 months from the date of manufacture, whichever occurs first. Replaced or repaired parts, products, shall be warranted for the remainder of the original warranty period. If any event, the replacement should not justify the renewal of the term of warranty. On this slide, we will have a checklist for you to check whether your installation has gone right. Let us quickly go through. First of all, please make a visual check if the wiring matches with the installation manual. Then please check if the circuit breaker is in the on position. At point 3, the battery should show by LED indicator that it is in on position. Number 4, the inverter power is also showing on position. For number 5, please make sure that the inverter has the latest firmware. The inverter should recognize the battery. The point 7. The battery can operate after installation is correctly done. The precondition for that are the AC grid is connected, the meter is installed and all legal requirements are complete. If any of the seven points is checked as no, or the inverter needs to be turned off, then you have to turn off the circuit breaker. In the following slides we will show you three different cases and the right actions. Case number one, the battery shows power on, but the LED indicator is off. Then please turn off the circuit breaker then turn off the inverter, verify there is no power at the battery connection. Unplug all the wires and reconnect. 
Recheck the wiring on the battery is done correctly. Refer to the installation manual. Turn on the circuit breaker again. Turn on the inverter again. If the power is on and the LED indicator is still off, turn off the circuit breaker. Disconnect the power cable connector. Contact LG Energy Solution Regional Contact Point. Now comes case number two. The battery LED is on, but the battery is not charging or the battery is not discharging. Update both the inverter and the battery firmware version. Refer to the inverter's troubleshooting guide for instruction. Check the inverter setting for battery. Refer to the inverter's troubleshooting guide for the battery setup instruction. If the battery is recognized, inverter setup is correct. If the issue persists, then turn off the circuit breaker, turn off the inverter, verify there is no power at the battery connection. Unplug all the wires and reconnect. Recheck the wiring on the battery is done correctly. Refer to the installation manual. Turn on the circuit breaker. If the battery setup is correctly done, but if the battery still does not operate, turn off the circuit breaker. Then contact LG Energy Solution Regional Service Contact Point. Now comes case number three. The battery shows fault LED and the indicator is on. Check if the inverter recognizes the battery. Refer to the inverter's troubleshooting guide on the battery setup's instruction. If the inverter is connected to the Internet, collect the log file from the inverter company. Send the fault ID to LG Energy Solution Regional Contact Point. Turn off the circuit breaker. Wait further instruction from LG Energy Solution. If the inverter is not connected to the Internet, check the inverter LCD to read battery's fault ID. Refer to the inverter's troubleshooting guide for instruction. Then send the fault ID to LG Energy Solution Regional Contact Point, turn off the circuit breaker and wait for further instruction from LG Energy Solution. On this slide we have collected the customer service contact information. In Europe we have two different organizations. One is for Italy this is uh, Suarek, and for the rest of Europe, it's e-service. You will see the phone number and the email, and if you have a problem or a technical question, please contact our service contact points.